the president spent a lot of time on the, using the S word, mm, oh, socialism yeah. and socialist. Um, it was a not too subtle, um, I don't know whether it's a dig or a enhancement. I'll, I'll let you decide. I was flattered. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Um, you have said you are a democratic socialist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, can you be a democratic socialist and a capitalist? Well, I think it depends on your interpretation. So there are some democratic socialists that would say absolutely not. There are other people that are democratic socialists that would say, I think it's possible. What are you? I think it's possible. I think Do you that say to yourself, I'm, I'm a capitalist, but? I don't say that. Okay. You know, if anything, I would say I'm, I believe in, in a democratic economy, but. Gotcha. But. The butt is there. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so in some ways, whether it's you're coming from, say, Elizabeth Warren's perspective, where she says, you know, she says things like, uh, I'm a capitalist, but we need to have hard rules for the game. What does the um, private sector do better than you know that the private sector, look, government should stay out of X because yeah. the private sector does that better. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things. There's a lot of consumer goods mm -hmm. where the private sector works. And by the way, I think it's important to delineate that just because you're in the private sector doesn't you can be in the private sector and be a democratically socialist business. Worker cooperatives are a perfect example of that. Um, it's not about government takeover. It's about how much do workers have a say in your business? Mm -hmm. Do you have workers on the board? Do workers enjoy a, a, a decent amount of the wealth that they are creating? Or is the majority of these profits going to shareholders while you're paying a worker $15 an hour to live in a New York City apartment? And and so that, to me, is the difference. It's not that public, the public sector is democratically socialist and the private sector is not. Um, it's really about a more nuanced understanding of how our economy should work. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.